Hey there guys, welcome back to the ultimate road to glory. I've already got a smile on my face and it's not because of the 36 wins. Well, that's great. I just had to laugh because the gameplay was so bad. I even posted out on Twitter thinking that EA patched the actual gameplay because of player switching and that was the major issue that I was having. So if you don't know this already, one of the best ways to defend is to leave your back four or back five if you play five at the back, to be controlled by the AI, so they keep their structure, and to get one of your CDMs to chase down your opponent. So if you've got Kante, Matuidi, Patrick Vieira, it's very easy to win back the ball. The only problem with that during the weekend is the player switching just wasn't working, so you couldn't flick to a CDM. It just didn't matter what I did, I just couldn't get the CDM in time to chase down my opponent. So what that meant I had to do was to bring out one of my center backs or just lose structure, and it was causing me problems where players were able to play it in behind but that, that was the problem for them as well so it was 50 50 to be honest it was whoever could overcome the poor gameplay we started off really well though that's the first week in the month 36 wins is awesome but it wasn't enough actually to get into the top 100 and i've been speaking to a few people and they're suggesting that the disconnection glitches back so on playstation loads of people got banned for it and it's where you go into a game you're winning or no sorry your opponent is winning and then you dc or disconnect i don't know what it is to be honest. i don't know how you do it and i wouldn't advise you to do it because you will get banned they're very strict in the weekend league so yeah don't do it anyway we finished off on 36 wins. Good start. Let's go take a look at some of the investments that I've made for the potential player of the month. And yeah, if you enjoy the series, drop a like and let's go take a look. During the weekend league, fitness card prices shot up in value. And I think it's just because everyone is waiting for team of the year and just holding back on spending coins. So with nobody opening up packs, consumer balls aren't being flooded on the market. So it's going to push their price up. So I had to resort to the bronze pack method and I was getting lucky to be honest. I was hitting some fitness cards and we got these two players that I sold on. And I may even go through my whole club now and sell on Liga and Silvers and Bronzes, MLS cards, Liga NOS players, just the ones that you're needing for the player SPCs so I can just get rid of them. I'm not going to unlock any SPC card from now. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. I don't want to be locking in over 300 to 400,000 coins on a player that I can't sell. I just don't see the point of that on the road to glory. I want to be trying out different legends, different team of the year cards. So we need to get as many coins as we can together. That's just the way I see it. If you guys want me to do it a different way, then let me know. Give, give me your opinions. So anyway, enough of that to our investments. The first one is going to be Mata. I thought this was fantastic. He's in the Premier League. He's playing for Man United, 84 rated. He could be useful. 4,300 coins I bought them for, and he is now going for... Ooh, he's gone up. He's already gone up. So everyone is going to be making those investments, and Mata, I thought he was a good one. So we purchased one, two, three. I didn't, I didn't go too crazy. Four, five i can see one on the end so we purchased five of him another one was valencia antonio valencia i've only bought one of him it is risky Ninety-one thousand five hundred coins if we take a look there aren't really many on the market um oh actually now they're starting to uh release quite a few oh forty-five thousand. i might a actually add that to my transfer who knows i could get another one for ninety thousand. if valencia well if ibrahimovic doesn't get player of the month and i can always sell on valencia for that price loads of people want to use him and what they do is they start him off in a right wing position or a right mid and they change up the formation and, and then set him as a right back because naturally on this game he is a right back and he's actually pretty decent so yeah i don't think we're going to be losing too many coins on him and then my other one was matter so i haven't like i said gone too crazy with the player of the month investments i just if i can make a few coins here and there i will take it I don't want to lose coins, and that's the major thing. I'm a little bit worried, but Farm Man, I'm going to keep him on the reserves, well, transfer list, just in case um, any future SBCs are released and I can offload him for like 10,000 coins because 84 rated cars just go up in value. It's mental. So I did say that I'd sell Patrick Vieira on. Oh my. It is going to be difficult. I had around 10 smooth games during the weekend league and Patrick Vieira was on fire, man. Once you've experienced that 84 pace, the height, the physical stats, just how he bosses the midfield, it's going to be difficult to part ways with the guy. So my ideal pull from the top 100 monthly rewards would be Patrick Vieira. I would much rather him than someone like Pele. And you're going to think, what? You're crazy. Seriously, Patrick Vieira is that good. But I did promise you guys we are going to eventually sell him on. I don't know when. I don't know when would be a good time. So if you want to suggest uh, maybe 
now after team of the year i have no idea to be honest another legend that i'm really interested in trying is this guy Mateus. he just looks like a german kante on steroids like what is this card why have i haven't i not noticed it before i remember using him actually on fifa when was Re legends release i think it was the first fifa when legends came out i was using him and i d actually did enjoy him I worked out that if you use the Sentinel chemistry style on the card, he turns to 90 strength, where he has 99 aggressions, 99 stand and slide tackles, and then look at the passing, the, the pace, the shooting, even his dribbling isn't so bad. Just looks like a monster. Imagine those three in the midfield. You wouldn't lose, well actually, yeah. You would lose games, but seriously, those three, they are just generals of the midfield. So that is basically a team that I'm working to create. I don't know how long or how long it's going to take us to build something like this. Imagine from a road to glory starting off with a bronze team to this. It's just... Oh, it's scenes, absolute scenes. Another defender that I've been coming up against quite a lot lately, and it's Rio Ferdinand. I was actually in two minds whether or not to bring in Rio or Laurent Blanc at the time. And one thing that put me off, just the major concern with the card, is his fitness levels. I recall that they were 80 or 85 which isn't too bad, or maybe even 77. I think Laurent Blanc's 85 and he could be in the 70s. I'm not too sure, but anyway, it doesn't seem to be affecting Rio Ferdinand because every time I come against him, like I said, he really does destroy me. So I'd love to eventually purchase Rio with, uh, well, Laurent Blanc, partner those two up top, uh, those two up top, those two in defense, that'd be amazing. Someone who is up top and it is Ronaldo. Do you think it's a good idea me playing him off chem? like seven Kim Ronaldo in that striker position and then just subbing off this guy Vasquez for Lacazette, Aubameyang. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with the team. I just know that this is sort of the foundation that I'm interested in building. It's just really getting coins together. Maybe we'll be lucky in our team of the week pack. Maybe we'll be lucky in those two 100Ks and pack a team of the year. Time will tell guys. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into our new team for the Division 1 match. I'm saying Division 1 match because it's the last match to win the title and we're using a bit of a weird team. Let's take a look. I can already hear you guys type in, Fuji, what the hell are you doing? What is this team? Why do you have a non-rare striker? Right, listen here. This guy that I wanted to try, Al Soma, he is probably the hardest player to bring into a decent team unless you are using legends upon legends just because of the links he's in a poor league no disrespect his nationality is terrible again no disrespect his card though is very nice look at the stats six foot four four star skills four star weak foot really good pace really for a six foot four guy his shooting his physical stats and his dribbling isn't so bad I used his first in form and I actually really did enjoy the card so I'm hoping that this 84 80 card just absolutely destroys with that being said I've tried what well, I was aiming to create a hybrid and then for some reason Metroglou has found his way into the team in division one yeah I don't know <laughs> to be honest I don't know if he's any good five star weak foot six foot two so he's gonna be perfect actually in that right striker position so if we do fancy a finesse shot or just to shoot it across goal who am I kidding? He's going to be terrible. 61 pace, awful. In the cam position though, Fetfacidis, he used to have 5 star skills and be a silver, or he had 5 star skills and used to be a gold. Um, I like the look of his card actually. 5'5", five five. he could be a nifty little player, nice and tricky, just his strength is going to be that major issue. I've brought Petit in the side. I know a few people say, oh, at least use Petit in divisions if you're not going to use him in the weekend league. And I actually was subbing him on in the weekend league just to add some fresh legs and he was playing all right. It's just, I just want to make this clear. The dribbling on Petit, there is something about it that I just really don't like to catch the dribble properly. He feels a little bit heavy to turn and position. And when I defend with midfielders, I prefer them to have a little bit of agility. And with someone like Patrick Vieira, he can offer that. He's just the best. He is, hands down, the best CDM ever. Right centre mid position, inform Pizzi. Looks to be a really good card. I think I actually tried Pizzi. I can't remember exactly, but his stats are just really well balanced. Then we have Inform Semedo. Definitely haven't tried him. Good Inform card right there. Monolas, Socrates, and Guerrero to finish off the defense. And in goal, 
Carnesis. Uh, Carnesis. Loads of people have been asking me to try this guy out. The inform goalkeeper from the Serie A. And I've faced him a few times. And he seems to be really difficult to beat. So, fingers crossed he can perform for us. My custom tactics for today, though. These haven't changed for a while now. I think I'm... I think I'm enjoying them. The pressure, although in some episodes I've said I may have to drop that down to 55, 60 pressure just seems to be a nice balance if the gameplay is playing good. If it's not, and there is some sort of delay, my players feel like they're bombing up the pitch. And it's just down to whether or not the game feels good. So yeah, 4 one 2, one two we need to um, set the player instructions. Now, I am going to tell El Soma to get in behind. Matroglu, I think... I'm just going to tell him to get in behind to keep that structure up top, but I wouldn't really suggest that because he's that slow. Stay forward for... Oh, no, free roam. Where is it? Stay forward for Betvacidis. Kante. Kante. <laughs> I use Kante way too much, man. Stay back while attacking for Patrick Vieira. Stay back while attacking for the two fullbacks. Kante. I can't believe I just said that. Sorry, Patrick. Uh, sorry, Vieira. Seriously, he is the best. He's better than Kante, without a doubt. Anyway, we're ready for the last game. In Division 1. Can we win the title? Let's do it. I just wanted to double check to see if it was mathematically correct. And we can win the title. We're on 21 points. We need 23. So a draw isn't good enough. We actually have to win. Can we do it? Let's find out. This opponent right here is in the way of us winning the Division 1 title. And he's got a 4-2-3-1 side though. I hope he's not playing for a draw. Oh, his long legs nearly got around him. Patrick Vieira, look at that. This is why he is, without a doubt, the best CDM on the game. Go on, El Sommer. He's got the pace to get in behind here. I'm going to have to do something. Otherwise, I'm just going to get caught up. Good little dip. Fire that across. Ooh, I was looking for that rebound. It's a good start to the game, though. What this guy's doing really well is stopping and changing direction, which is a little bit difficult to sort of break up his play high up the pitch. So, it's just... Really difficult to anticipate. And Matroglu. Oh my. Now that's the five star weak foot that comes into the play. Because if I had someone maybe with a three star. I'm guessing the keeper would have saved that. So 1-0 up Matroglu. Great start. That's a great pass. Oh that first time pass over to Aguero. And as easy as we scored. He's uh, managed to put that through. That was a good ball though. I had no chance with my defender. He was caught. A 4-2-3-1 formation. So goddamn defensive. Well done, Vieira. Love him. He's playing really well in this game. I'm just wait, waiting for those dips. Good LTRT. If we can at least create a chance from this into the middle. One twos. Ooh, that was a bit of a poor pass. Didn't like the look of that. Petit. Ooh, dear. I'm just, I'm just waiting. El Summer. Ooh, nearly. It's, it's all right. We're creating chances, and that's the main thing. He's a good defender. 1-1 one, one at the break, and I'm really disappointed that I gave him that goal so early after actually scoring myself because it looks like he's actually playing for a draw. And that was my worst fear. Against the 4-2-3-1 side, playing a draw, it's difficult to break down. He seems to be trying to take me out right now. Nice ball over to Pizzi. Play that back. We need to start building up a little bit quicker. Hold on to it. Perfect. Good defense. He really did just take that off my toe. I was about to leather that in. Go, 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 go. Water ball. Al Summer. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for that correct pass. Metroglu. What is this card? What is, what is going on with this Metroglu card? Two shots, two goals. And that was a rocket. Have we found a non-rare beast? No, not straight away. Oh, that didn't look good, to be honest. Nice challenge, actually, from Tomato. So he was playing for the draw. Now he's off defensive. We're finding space in behind here. I'm going to stop that ball. Play it. Finesse. Oh, just again. No, go away. Leave me alone, Aguero. I hate Aguero, actually. I don't, I don't think I've used him on this game. But oh, he's just so annoying to be playing against. Seems to win all those lucky rebounds. Soma. Oh, that was lovely. What a goal. He has just been ripped apart by Al Soma. And that's why I wanted to bring him into this team. Just because he has those stats to be a fantastic card, which he is. It's just getting him into a full chem side. Full time and we've done it. Division 1 champions. We finished in style. We scored two really nice goals. Actually, even three. The first one was pretty good. Nice passing. That goal that Mitroglu scored, though, it pinged off his foot. We're going to have to definitely give him another go. Division 1 champions. That's awesome.
If any of you guys know as to why they removed the Division 1 kit, then let me know, because it would have been nice just to keep it at the club with uh, the top 100 kits and stuff. It would have just been nice. 15,000 coins though we won, that's pretty good. Contract and injury issue. Vet Facetis, he's out for two matches. We're gonna be using that leg healing card. We've got five of them. How have we got five leg healing cards? Where have they come from? At least it's a common injury. Knee and leg, they're the best ones to get. Let's apply a contract on Socrates. Mitroglu though, I thought that he was going to have a banger. I remember using him on the World Cup game mode. Do you remember that? Was that on FIFA 14 or FIFA 15? And Metroglu had bangers and that gameplay actually. The World Cup gameplay was really heavy. Uh, maybe they were getting ready for FIFA 17. Anyway, Metroglu though, 79 shot. It felt very nice. So let's go into another game, guys. Um, we're not fully fit. Let me apply. Have I got individual fitness cards? I have 11. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Let me apply these and we go into the second game. Our next opponent is rocking out into this game with the 4 1 2 1 2 formation with Crespo. They just take way too long to get the ball out. I've got him tracking back here, so I've got to act quickly because it's this midfielder. He's, I've, I've done him there with the uh, LTRT skill dribbling. Ooh, what a ball that was. Oh. That was a really poor cool shot. I was offside anyway. Find him. Oh, I don't know why my player didn't just swing out a foot and try and make connection with that because I think that would have probably gone in. That ball's... Oh, that run from Crespo was really... There you go. And that is legend quality right there. It was the run initially from Crespo which caused me trouble and then how he's able to hold off my defender and get the shot away. Pizzy doing a bit of the defending. Pizzy's actually been playing really well. I quite like Pizzy. That run though from Patrick Vieira. Is he going to finish this? Oh no. I should have probably looked to just strike that instead of doing the driven shot. Because usually with CDMs, they don't really have that finesse about them. <laughs> what, is this? what is our summer doing? We are losing at the break, guys, to just a really good individual goal from Crespo. Everything about that goal just showed legend quality. And with us actually going forward, we're not creating that much, really. He's been dominating possession, and he's just been defending really well. So let's see if we can change something in the second half. In behind. Oh, it's that legend. It's that legend Crespo again. It's his positioning. He really does peel away from well, my defenders very, very well. And there was just so much space he was in. Give it back to him. There we go. It's, it's the runs as well. He, he is manually tracking the runs, which is fantastic defending. Am I just onside? Was I onside? Oh, I was off. I was off anyway. El Summer though. Oh, am I just onside? If I can get that burst. What a chest. Again. I, that was a great pass. I knew it was coming though because I overcommitted and he's going to finish it off. Yeah, that was just really poor. There we go. Can we get at least one goal? Oh, nice dribbling from Summer. Mitroglu. <laughs> Better check. Full time, guys, and I got no problem with that loss at all. I just didn't turn up. <laughs> That's as simple as that. He was much better in every single aspect of the game, and I just didn't have anything to offer. We had a couple of chances here and there, just. Nothing was clicking. I just didn't really feel that game. After that result, I'm not wasting a fitness card on this team. They don't deserve it. Seriously though, I, I didn't play well. I didn't actually play well in defending, building up play, nor attacking. It was just awful. Mitroglu, obviously he's lacking pace. With Al Sommer, he's good. No denying that, he's a good player, just lacking again a little bit of pace. So with the Hunter Kemrishi style, I think he would be playing a little bit better. Fevacidis is just so weak. Uh, he's got some nice dribbling here and there, just very, very weak. Pizzy, fantastic, actually. He was getting into nice tackles, good pace. Uh, Semedo, weak. I was noticing just him being really weak. And the goalkeeper, well, Crespo. You can't stop Crespo. I was actually really impressed with... Um, how Crespo was just peeling off my defenders and the runs that he was making. Obviously, it is down to custom tactics and, and speed, but just I was noticing how he was finding so much space, even against like good players like Manolas and Socrates. So yeah, Crespo might be a legend that we want to try out. Anyway, third and final game. Let's see if we can redeem that loss. Leave or lose as his team name. So I'm guessing we're losing this one. 4-3-3 though, and those players. Benteke 86, 87 Ericsson. Some suspect touches going down right now. I've got Summer though. Waiting for him. 
That's a great pass. I think it's just in front. Yeah, I actually felt that. What a challenge that was. That was absolutely incredible. Petit, is he going to find the right pass? Patrick Vieira. Ooh, oh, that's what I like, Patrick Vieira. He's been scoring those rockets all week in league. I think every single goal that he scores is a rocket. Nice one, Socrates. At least Socrates and Manolas are playing well. Look at that run there. Looking for the one-twos quickly. Oh, that's nice. Go on, Summer. Oh. It's safe to say that in this game, we are dominating on pass accuracy, possession. If we can play this one short. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that. I've got to be honest. It just went through my legs. Ericsson. You will not get past Patrick Vieira like that, let me tell you. Emma Troglu has done his man. Another save from Buffon. He's never usually this good, is Mane. I knew that he was going to go down the line again. He's been he's been doing that a lot. And that's the thing that I tell you guys. Don't be predictable. Mix up your attack. Oh, that burst. Come on, that's got to be a foul, surely. I don't know how he's got away with that. See, if I had someone like a Bamiang there, I'd be in behind, no problem. And then from there, I'm going to get counter-attacks. And if he scores, I'm not going to be too happy. No, it's delayed. Is that a delayed challenge? Yeah. I've given away a pen. Ah, oh, that sucks. Which way is he going to go? I think he's going to go down the middle. Everyone goes down the middle, I swear. Don't go down the middle. <laughs> Everyone does it. We just about won that game. With the penalty, I was actually wanting to just, well, basically slide offset to the right. So not make contact with him. Just block any shot that he's uh, wanting to take. And yeah, I made contact. He took the pen and we saved it. I swear we saved quite a few penalties. If you come up against me, please just go down the middle so I can save it. <laughs> no, it's just luck, really. Whichever way you dive. In the weekend league, I was diving the right way in one of the penalty shootouts that I was involved in and it still goes in the back of there it's just one of those things anyway full time good win we dominated that game the man's injured again fit for Cedis two games in a row ridiculously weak keeps getting injured and his pace and dribbling wasn't so bad it's just he's too small for the game with the ones I would recommend you trying Pizzi fantastic card the way he was going in for challenges he actually felt quite strong his passing his dribbling his pace a very nice center mid card Semedo, he was defending okay i liked his pace his recovery speed it's just his strength going into tackles that was the major flaw with the card metroglu obviously too slow no one's going to want to use him al summer i don't I don't really believe that he's worth bringing into a team just because of what he does to the full team, having to restrict, maybe bringing in other players that you enjoy just because of getting him on full chemistry. Using him as an impact sub, though, could be uh, really good, and maybe you guys are interested in doing that because he is a good card. He's got a nice finish, good uh, good hold-up play, but the team, obviously, it was, it was okay in defense, midfield. I, I just like the legends, but apart from that, yeah, it wasn't really the best, but... Players for you guys to take away, definitely Pizzy, Al Summer if you're wanting to use him as a super sub, and that is pretty much it. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, drop a like, guys. Let me know what you want to do with my main team. Should we sell Patrick Vieira? Should we wait for our top 100 monthly rewards before we make any decisions? Would you like me to use Ronaldo off Kim? Decision, decisions. What are we going to do? Leave your ideas, and I will see you soon. Team out. Peace.